Hi, my name is Marina Jacobi, and this is the follow video uh, that I promise you how I'm going to make a juice, how I juice every single day, and what I use and what type of vegetables I use to sustain everyday life so you can feel better, rejuvenated, and completely detox. Um, what I usually use is Omega 3000. This type of juicer. Uh, is basically squeezing everything from the vegetables and there is another juicer that I use that you can get from Costco um, or you can get from Bed Dutch Beyond and this type of juicer is shredding everything so it's a big difference one is squeezing stuff out of your vegetables and fruits and one is shredding it when you shred the waste that is coming it's a lot and sometimes you have a lot of um, uh, stuff into the vegetables that you can still use to make a juice out of it. So I prefer to use the Omega 3000. It takes a little bit more time uh, from this one, but it's uh, truly worth it because you usually can get in the end result maybe like a half a cup more of green juice into uh, your cup. So let's start. And I want to show you what I usually use. I start with, um, this is a um, green chart. It's a Swiss chart, actually. You can have a green or red one. Everything is red over here, and they have slightly different vitamins into it, but it's very uh, potent, and it's a little bit salty when you really uh, juice it. I also use kale, green kale, so you can have a dinosaur kale, they are very potent in nutrients and this is also has a vegetable protein inside. So that's why it's very fundamental for you to use the Swiss chard, the kale, then you use the collard greens that you can get from everything organic because there's no pesticides. Uh, you use some broccoli or um, green pepper, or anything you, uh, green you can think of. I usually use bok choy, bok choy, and I use some carrots, and then I go with zucchini. You can use green zucchini or yellow zucchini. I use cucumbers. If you cannot find organic cucumbers, and they're very pricey, you can go to Costco or some other uh, place and find the one that says GMO free, genetically modified free. So peel them off and then you can use them. So now, and the other thing that I use, it's called raw powder from the company Raw Powder. And inside is pure cholera and pure spirulina and is in capsules. So you can take, I usually take like 10 of them and I particularly drink distilled water. Distilled water is negative in charge, so if you have uh, any type of chemicals inside, it will pull out um, this from your immune system, your body. So that's what I use per day. And when I make a juice, I usually six cups of green juice and four cups of um, veg uh, uh, fruit juice. The reason why I use only green juice without mixing uh, fruit inside is because fruit is fermenting faster than the green juice. And if this happens, as a vegetarian or raw eater or a juicer, you're starting to lose nutrients. That is the reason why so many vegetarians are starting to lose nutrients because they are mixing fruits and vegetables into juicing. And when you separate them, make sure that if you drink, for example, three cups of green juice, make sure you have a one hour before you make a fruit juice because you don't want just to ferment and to lose nutrients. That is extremely fundamental. You will not have any gas after that, I promise you. And you will keep all the nutrients from the green vegetables. Do not mix fruits and vegetables together. Even if it's bitter, it's okay, because the bitterness is actually triggering the immune system to flush out easily. And so now we're gonna start chopping. Okay, let me just move everything aside, fill everything off, I have to wash this, of course. Um, these vegetables are washed, I just kept everything so I can show you that they're organic. And I bought this particularly from Stopping Shop, Stopping Shop, 
really started to have very good prices on organic and I thank them for that, including Whole Foods is everything in there you need to find is in Whole Foods, it's an incredible store. So use your resources, whatever is nearby you. I already have a cucumbers that are completely washed and now I'm going to wash the rest of the vegetables right here. And I'm going to show you how much I use from it in order to make my juice. First, I chop it because it's easy to put it in. And you can make it that big, perhaps, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, I like with the broccoli to just cut them and put them in the small pieces. Maybe I should take a different bowl for that. So I can use everything. Here's the bowl. I'm going to put all my vegetables in and I'm going to chop the broccoli. I cut this in half. I put one zucchini per juice and I put two cucumbers this is half, but today I'm going to put half. I put two cucumbers per juice. I put two to three of this size from the kale. From the kale. Then I put from the collard greens, I usually put two. You can put three. This becomes really bitter. If you if you really use that, it becomes really bitter. So and it flushes you out really quickly. Uh, so keep in mind how you use that. Um, and then I get two of the big bok choy leaves because it's a lot of juice inside the bok choy. It's really nice. And then I use like four to five carrots. For that juicing and you can add um, peppers I have a red peppers for example that I also buy from this ones I got from Whole Foods and they're little ones and I really like them they're very sweet my kids like to eat that and you can get two or three of them like that with different colors you have to wash them And you can put them, um, I usually get two, three to four. You can have a green organic pepper if you need to. And now we can start juicing. And I'll show you how this can be done. Next video, I will show you how to use the juicer.